This video is for those who are wondering how to get the right amount of protein from vegetarian Indian diets. So those who have been thinking that eating two katoris of dal or having a glass of buttermilk that is chas is enough to give you your day's protein requirements, you are mistaken. As in, if I make you understand that our vegetarian diets, if you're looking at just those two bowls of dal and a glass of buttermilk, that accounts to just about 15 grams of protein. But we, as per the recent recommended dietary allowances set by the NI and ICMR and dietitians who are practicing all over in India, we have come to an understanding that you require at least 0.8 grams of protein per kg of your ideal body weight. So if you are a woman who is around 60 kilos and is around 5'3 in height, you would require at least around say 55 grams of protein. And then if you are pregnant in the second semester, you would require say 55 plus 10, 65 grams of protein. The third trimester you would require 55 plus 22. That amounts around 77 grams of protein. Now if we think that whatever we are eating, dal, rice and roti and that's as we were eating, we will continue eating and we will get the amount of proteins we need to sustain our body's growth, wear and tear, maintaining our hormones, our immunoglobulins, that's immunity to fight infections, over the growth of the baby, that little baby that grows from cell to almost 7 pounds, this is not going to be enough. So, if I have to make proteins easy for you, we look at every 30 grams supposing i take a moong dal or say a brown chana the bengal brown chana or the chole chickpeas or the rajma or the horse gram or kulit these around 30 grams would give me around say 8 grams of protein or 6 grams depending on the variety now if i soak them and if i sprout them i increase their nutritional content by adding on to b complex and vitamin c but it still lacks one amino acid that is methionine so if you have protein lacking in a particular amino acid that's incomplete vegetarian protein now how do you make it complete you need to combine this with a cereal cereals have more methionine and less lysine and pulses have less methionine more lysine so when you combine these two in the proportion of one is to three or one is to two like say for idli the two parts of rice one part of dal dosa again 2 is to 1, rice and dal, khichdi, 3 is to 1 or 2 is to 1. That will all give you the right kind of protein combinations. So we need to understand that every meal, every meal that means breakfast, lunch, dinner and your mid-morning and mid-evening, you need to have combinations of pulses with certain cereals or first class proteins. That means for a vegetable, you need to combine it with say curds, buttermilk lassi, a fruit shake, then only then will you get that complete protein. So look out for the space for recipes which will make protein eating easy for you, protein eating complete for you and proteins workable for you.